It is a time for distinction for the believers. It is a time of distinction for the children of God. I feel very strongly that in this season, God wants those who believe in him to stand out. Those who believe in him to be different. You know, and we cannot be different um, if we behave like everyone else. You know, I'm reminded of the young Hebrew boys um, who, okay, maybe not start there. I was speaking to uh, Pastor Tim uh, Gambiza a couple of weeks ago, and he said something that, that I felt, you know, just resonated with me so strongly because of the season that I'm in. And he said that um, the giants that we're supposed to face determine the diet that we, that, that, you know, that we have. So what we eat, what we feed on, more specifically, what we feed on, and you know, will determine whether we're strong enough to face the giants that are ahead of us. You know, um, David fed on, you know, the slaying bears and lions, and that allowed him to be ready for Goliath. And I think what Pastor Tim was trying to share with me was saying, God knows the giants that are ahead of us. And because he knows the giants that are ahead of us, um, then um, he will prescribe a certain diet for us. Um, and and so we 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 need to be aware of that and we need to allow God to change our diet, whether that's a physical diet in terms of what you eat, whether that is a, um, a spiritual diet in terms of the nourishment that you give yourself, whether that's an intellectual diet. You know, I've been in seasons where God was like, stop watching that. There's not really anything wrong with it, um, you know, because I'm not into like horrors and, and, and like stuff where it's just blatantly against the word of God or against um, um, the principles of God. But you know, God was stopping me from doing those things or watching those things because he needed to redirect me to focus on something. I've been in a master class the last couple of days um, with Dr. Dar uh, Darius Daniels. And he was talking about how, he was talking about, you know, um, Bible detox. And he shared a couple of things, he shared on purpose, he shared on researching your approach to studying the Bible. And he also shared on detoxing from toxic religion. But one of the things that he said that, really really stood out for me was that your hunger is prophetic your hunger for the things of god is prophetic you know what he meant by that was that sometimes you feel that in the season i need to understand more on grace what does the scripture say about grace what is god's stance on grace or i need to the example that he gave was i need to learn more discipline what does the word say about discipline how do i become more disciplined and he was saying that the, your hunger is prophetic in the sense that God uses that to prepare you for what's coming. To prepare you for the season that's coming. And talking about preparation, I'm reminded of the Hebrew boys. Uh, the four Hebrew boys. You know, Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego, and uh, Balthasar, Daniel. <laughs> I'm not going to do that to myself. Um, with Daniel. And how they distinguish themselves. You know, and this is a time of distinction. This is a time of being distinguished. But how they distinguish themselves is that they, they chose not to defile themselves. They chose not to eat what everybody else was eating. And so we cannot be distinguished if we're feeding on what everybody else is feeding. If we're feeding on the fear and the frenzy. Is the situation bad? Yes, it is. Especially in South Africa. Especially in some of the provinces where the third wave is quite strong. But we cannot feed on that. People need hope. People need love. People need Something that is not a sinking sand. They need someone who seems stable in the midst of everything. And so we cannot feed on what everybody else is feeding on. Watch your consumption of the news. Watch your discussions with people about the, the situation. Not to say that we should shy away from reality. But watch what it does because you're feeding on it. And so we cannot be different. We cannot be distinguished if we're feeding on what everybody else is feeding. Those young men... We're found to be 10 times wiser. People need wisdom in this season. We're found to even look better, you know. Who doesn't want to look better? Their physical, um, their physique and their physical appearance was even better. And so we need to allow God to determine our diet. Whether it is intellectual, what kind of conversations are you having, what books are you reading, whether it is spiritual, what is... What is your nourishment? What are you reading? What are you feeding on? What verses are you reading? Do you just, 
you know, when I was growing up, there was this thing, I, I really do hope it was back then and it's not happening now. You know, uh, my mom would tell me that she wouldn't know what way to what to read. And so she would just, you know, pray and say, okay, God, please speak to me. And she would just open the Bible, <laughs> wherever it falls onto him, and she would read that. And then that, if you do do that, I'm really sorry for, for, um, for, for laughing. Um, and God can speak to you through that, but you can't live that way. You can't grow spiritually that way. Um, but listen to your hunger. What is it that you need to learn more? In this, in this season, do you need to be grounded more in the love of God? Um, perhaps because you're going to need it in the season that you're going into. Perhaps because you're going to need it in this season. And so it is a time of distinction. May you hear the call. May you hear the call. Um, one of the things that I used to love, um, you know, so much about, um, you know, we Pastor... Um, Martin Mgeba, he used to lead praise and worship at, at you know at 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 the at the here church here in, in Cape Town that I was in. Um and one of his favorite things was that God you're holy, God you're different. You know, that was that was the thing, because holiness is is different, it's distinction. Um and so this is a time where we need to we need to be different. We need to allow ourselves to be different. Sometimes as believers, we want to blend in. Um, and, you know, wh- one of the things that I love about my culture, especially the Tonga people, is our ability to learn everybody else's language. But the problem with that is that we tend to blend in. It's so difficult, unless they're talking, it's so difficult to weed out a Tonga person. So difficult because they'll speak Zulu, they'll speak Sipedi, they'll speak Shona, they'll speak Swahili, they'll speak whatever because, you know, there's just that, that, that welcoming, embracing nature allows us to learn. Not to say that other cultures just don't. I'm talking about my culture that I know, that I understand. There's that embracing of other people and um, we tend to blend in. Um, and so with, with Christians, we live in this world, yes. Um, and and we get hungry and we get tired it's like everybody else but there is something that is distinguishing us and that is the infilling of the holy spirit that is the lordship of jesus christ over us that is us allowing the principles of god to determine how we live and we need to allow that distinction and sometimes we don't want to have the restriction that leads to distinction and so there is always a distinction. There's always a restriction that leads to a distinction. I remember when, um, um, not I was, remember isn't there, I'm remembering a <laughs> part in scripture um, where Elijah came and he threw a cloak on Elisha. And Elisha had to make a deci- decision right then and there whether he was going to be disting- um, distinguished. Whether he was going to allow the restriction that was was required of him, which was appealing away from his family, appealing away from society, appealing away from the people that he grew up with, whether it meant that whether he would allow himself to, you know, um, let go of his earthly inheritance so that he could receive his heavenly inheritance. And so we need to allow God to start separating us from the things that he needs to separate us from. Um, we need God to start giving us restrictions, start giving us dietary restrictions, you know. Um, allow God to start giving us intellectual restrictions. What are you watching? What have you sensed? This was never wrong. Why is, does it feel wrong now? <laughs> uh, let it go. You know, I used to enjoy watching this. I used to enjoy doing this, but not in this season. Let it go. God knows your hunger is prophetic. God knows the giants that you're supposed to face um, that are coming. And so he wants to prepare you. And I think we need to allow God to distinguish us. And that largely has to do with what we feed on. What are you feeding on? Um, What are you doing? What are you focusing on? Um, Are you allowing yourself to be different? Because the word of God says that those who believe in God will shine like the stars. And the world right now needs the light. May you be blessed.